Hello, this is Charlie Zorro. Today Amandia is going to be aiding the hobbits of Tuckborough in defending their village against goblins and brigands in the skirmish Trouble in Tuckborough. Brigands and goblins lay siege to the great smeals of Tuckborough. Provisions are running low and time is running short. Trouble in Tuckborough used to be my least favorite skirmish because most of it, as you can tell, is going to be done at night. And I had a heck of a time trying to see what was going on. And because of that, I was constantly defeated. Luckily, after figuring out how to adjust the gamma in my computer, it's a much better skirmish now. Okay, let's get that poison off of Danwell. And run up and get the banner. Okay, now to prepare for the counterattack. And now for the second counterattack. First time this happened, it really surprised me because I wasn't expecting a second attack. Tell I'm gonna have her take eat a quick hobbit snack. I just noticed there's a red dot in my radar. Oh, that's right, we can't go in this way. Okay. I always fall for that. We have to go back this way. I believe we can just climb the hill. And take out the brigand. Oh my. I think we'll have him run away. And now we can take him out. You know, there's been some discussion on the forum that the Minstrel is the most powerful character in the game. I never really bought into that until I started playing a Minstrel. There we go. And I have to admit, they're a lot more powerful than I originally gave him credit for. In fact, it's kind of funny because the first time I rolled up a Minstrel, I hated it so much, it never got out of the intro. I just couldn't stand the yells and everything else about it. And now... And now I have to admit, I rather, I really rather enjoy playing a minstrel.
Okay, where is the brigand? Oh well, we'll just do this. And that, and that takes care of the brigand. I have to admit, I'm really looking forward to playing Amandia when she's higher level, just to see what she can do. Because she's kind of hell on wheels just at this level. There we go. And there's the banner. Yay, we freed the southern hillside. And let's see, we need to go on up. around the corner. Yep, there they are. I love being able to one-shot them. That is so cute. Well, let's make him run away again. I don't like the bearer of lights. Oh, no, you don't. You don't take on Danwin. Or Danwell. Alright, now I guess we're gonna have to take out the bearer of Nice and easy. Let's see who's down here that we have to take out. Now we get this banner. Whoops, jump too early. And now prepare for the counterattack. There we go. Hmm. We had to have missed somebody. Because that gate should have been open. And there they are. No, oh, that's not right. We shouldn't have to take these guys out. That's odd. Why isn't the gate open? Usually if the gate isn't open, it indicates that you... Oh, heck, I've didn't get the banner, that's why. Here we go. So, 
Where's the counterattack? There we go. I'm gonna make him turn around and run away. Okay, now to take on the Zealot of Pain. Now we can continue on. And the gate should be open. Yep. There's another Zealot of Pain. We'll make him go away. And we'll take on the rest of the brigands. And to take out the self the pain and the dumb brigand. Okay, the rest of them should be right around the corner. Take out the keg master. It's also kind of fun because this is the first time I've used a sage as my uh, as my skirmish soldier, and I wasn't sure how the sage would do with. A minstrel, but it actually works out to be very, very good. They're a very good combination. So I certainly recommend it. There we go. And now we we'll just take out. Off. Well, his name's Mud now. So now we want to grab the last banner. Yay! We've saved Tuckborough. Oh, we want to get the chest. Don't forget the chest. go. Cool. And that was the skirmish, Trouble in Tuckboro. The only thing I really have against the skirmish is that it's very, very short, as you could tell. So, but it's a lot of fun, and now that I've figured out how to adjust my gamma and can see, um, it's even more fun. So, I certainly hope you enjoyed the skirmish. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.